Okay, guys, back at the ranch, uh, Alec Pierce and uh, my windmill. So we've already talked in my uh, previous video about terminology and all that kind of stuff. So now you know about the, the thing upstairs, the funny thing that spins. And you also know about the standard, right? Not the pump, the standard. And I also showed you the pump that goes way down into the water. That's the actual pump. This is called a pump. Here's one right here. This is the same as one I showed you in the previous video. This is a pump. Same type of pump. That's what it looks like. So how does it pump water? Well, it, it, it's, it's really very simple. Once you take a quick look at it, you'll understand it in just a moment. So uh, it, it pumps water very simply. This rod connects to the windmill, and it goes up and down like this. That's how it pumps water. <laughs> understand? No, there's more to it than that, yeah, obviously. Because there's, there's a piston in there. Uh, clearly, there's a piston in there. Do I have a piston sitting here? No, I don't. But there's a piston in there on the end of this rod. And the piston, I mean, anybody can see, it would, it would bring water up. But when it goes back down, wouldn't it just push the water back down? Well, yes, it would. It would if it was able to. It's not able to. We don't let it. But here it is assembled. I'm going to take it apart so you can see the constituent parts. You like that word? The constituent parts. And then Kevin's going to show you pictures as well. But let me explain a few things. First of all, um, uh, I'm going to take this base off. If I can. There we go. That's good. Okay. So in here, I'm going to take the piston out of here as well. So you can see. Can I get the... Boy, I put that on tightly. There we go. Oh, gosh. So here's here's the actual cylinder, the pump cylinder. Nothing to it. It's just an empty cylinder with a cap on each end. whoop de doo Exactly. whoop de doo There's nothing to it. The important thing is this right here. This is the important thing. This is the piston. And and I have a picture of this piston that Kevin can show you in just a moment. But the piston, that's all there is to it. It goes up and down like that. Just up and down like that. Now, you can see that there. this is two parts. And there's a crack in there. Well, into that crack goes a leather. It's called a leather. It looks like this. It's a, it's a cup. It's actually a cup. And that leather cup goes in and is clamped in there tightly so it can't come off. And that leather cup sits like this around the outside. And that leather, it's oiled leather, that leather cup is a snug fit in the piston. Okay? So it goes up and down and it seals. So <clears throat> uh, when, it go, when it goes down... What happens is, it built into the piston is this little valve. Watch right here. See? See the valve open up? And you see how it opens a hole at the bottom. Can you see through there, Kevin? I'm going to show you in a minute how this works exactly. But essentially, the wind goes down. When it goes down into the water, because this is down in the water, this is pushed up. And what happens is, all the space above the piston now fills with water. Yeah. And then when, you start, when the windmill starts to go back up, or you start to pump back up, it goes up like this. That drops and traps the water above the piston. It can't get down through. So now it pulls it up, goes up the pipe, 20 feet. Go back down, fills up, back up, fills up, just like that, back and forth. Now to make sure that the water doesn't just pump in and out of the pump and not, and not travel, they, there's another one-way valve down in the bottom, that bottom piece. Where this sits, there's another one-way valve down in there. Another piece of leather. That piece of leather looks like this piece right here. It's kind of an odd-shaped piece. There's a round circle around the outside. That fits the outside, and when these are screwed together, it, it, it seals these two pieces. And then there's a little flapper, this little flap in the middle. You see the little flap there? And it has a hole in it. Well, that hole is for this screw. Because <clears throat> that center flap piece flaps up and down, and they put a weight on it. Here's a little weight. It sits on it. So here's what happens. When the pump starts to pump up, go up, this is sealed, and so it tries to suck up. And as it sucks up, the flapper valve in the base lifts, and it draws water out of the well. When it gets to the top, it starts to descend. Well, as soon as it starts to go down, that flapper valve stops, shuts down, traps the water in there. This valve opens. And all the water that was sucked up comes up above the piston. So now all that water we sucked up is up here. Repeat. Come back up. It closes. All the water we just sucked up into there or pushed up into there, now it's forced up the pipe. And more water is sucked in. Down. Up. Just like that. This particular pump has an additional small feature on the bottom. It has a screen. This goes on the very, very bottom down here. And this goes to, this is the very bottom of that long uh, sucker pipe. And this screen is, uh, as Kevin said earlier, to keep frogs and things out. And it's not a joke. It's actually to keep large things, leaves and so on, from getting sucked up into the pump and hurting it. And this, uh, this little device also has a spring-loaded valve. So 
I don't know if you can see down in there, but but oh, you can see in here better. Kevin, can you can you can you get into there? So once again, uh, when, when when the piston's going down, this seals so the water isn't pushed out of the bottom of the piston. In fact, it goes past the piston and comes fills the pump body. Then when it is wants to suck water up. It, it is the valve opens, spring loaded valve opens, and it sucks more water in. Now this all makes a lot more sense when you take a look at a simple diagram. And I have this very, very simple diagram. So here we have the cylinder and the piston. And you can't see it well yet, but inside the piston is that valve. And down at the bottom of the cylinder, right here, right there, you see that the tube is actually closed right now. So what happens is the piston is just sitting still right here. In this particular picture, the piston is now moving down, you see. So, now this valve is closed, so the water can't get pushed out. But the valve on the piston opens, and so all this water that was down in the bottom here, all this water goes through the piston and fills the top part up here. It goes all the way down to the very bottom. Now when it gets to the very bottom, now the piston starts to come back up. The whole cylinder is full of water now. Well, the valve on the piston is closed, but the valve down here, you see the valve down here, Kev? The valve down here is open. So all the water that was in here is pushed up the tube and it draws more water in. But this is really the simplest device in the world. A piston with a valve and a one-way valve on the bottom. That's all there is to it. Really that simple. And these come in a dozen different sizes. I have two inch, two and a half, three. This is a three and a half inch, the one we're going to use on, on, uh, on this. This happens to be a, a BD pumper, so I'm going to use that one on the well. And uh, it's just that simple. All you have to have is water, a pipe, and a rod to make the piston go up and down. Oh, and you have to have the leather seals and so on to make it seal. It's just about that simple. That's how it pump, pumps water. Okay, just in case you didn't know, if that helped, and these are all genuine parts from the early part of the 19th century, 1910, 1920, somewhere in there. All these are genuine parts made at that particular time. Okay, let's keep going. i got a couple more things to show you. See you shortly. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Mm -hmm.